Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerviews.com. We have a bomber bottle here to re review with you guys tonight from the Stone Brewing Company. They do a lot of bomber bottles these days. Uh, my number one rated beer of 2013 came from Stone Brewing Company. That is their Enjoy By IPA. Um, absolutely loved it. This is what's called their Suede Imperial Porter. This is part of their collaboration series which started about five years ago. Um, comes in these bomber bottles. They're usually about $9 for the bomber. Pretty consistent price there. Um, if you look at the top, see it's really cool lips. It's a 10 barrel stone blue jacket. Ale brewed with, I'm gonna, I don't know what this is. It's a calendula flower, jasmine, and honey. 9.6 ABVs. Um, the collaboration series is really cool. So I'm going to give you a quick little 60 seconder on that. They basically came together either with other brewing companies or with uh, home brewers. This particular one is uh, Stone Stone Brewmaster Mitch Steele decided to collaborate uh, when it was essential to you know, try to fermentation domination. They found they found this uh, connection with Tanya Cornett, the brewmaster at Bend, Oregon's 10 Barrel Brewing Company. So that's where this 10 Barrel comes from. Together they decided on a sturdy yet velvet base of an imperial porter and developed a plan to collaborate the bounty of the Evrons, in which was produced by harvesting avocado honey, jasmine, and calendula flowers, um, some from our very own farm on Stone Farms. They infused this into the beer to create some uh, to com create something complex and unique to Southern California. Consider it a craft cross pollination at its finest. Um, these are limited releases. They are hard to find. Um, they have a list here of states. It's probably half the country, but they're not easy to find, at least in our area. I live on the East Coast. I don't live you know, on the West Coast in California. We get a few of these things, um, meaning that you can buy one or two, and if you're not at the specialty beer store within that week, you aren't going to get one. Um, so I'm told this is a really cool porter. It tastes really good. They have that classic stone brewing company cap with that uh, kind of skull and horn on top of it. Um, porters are typically, typically kind of medium body, a little bit sweet. So this one has a little bit of honey in it, so that might help it a little bit. It's, it's a very interesting smell. Definitely smell malt. Definitely smell something sweet, similar to honey. Don't smell a lot of floral uh, for this flower that they're talking about. It's very easy to drink. That's really good. So, Imperials typically have pretty high uh, ABVs. 9.6%. A lot of times you can taste the alcohol. I don't like that if you watch any of my other beer reviews. I cannot taste the alcohol content in this. It's got a real nice color to it. Little tiny, little teeny tiny red hue at the bottom. Not much head. It's not very florally, which I like. It is a, It is sweet. What Porter should be sweet. It's, it's good. You can tell that there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Um, you can taste the honey. You can taste the malt. Almost has a little bit of a chocolate flavor to it. Um, it doesn't smell anything too impressive in terms of other than a porter. And what I mean by that is the malt is in, in that kind of background of knowing that there's something like the chocolate or honey in it. It's extremely dry in, in the finish. It's good. It's very good, actually. I like this a lot. Um, it's better than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's a good beer to kind of sip on. Uh, this is probably one of those bombers I would open, pour this glass, cap it, have the second half the next day. It's not something I'd probably want to consume the whole thing at once or all in one night. Um, but it, it's really good. It's better. It's better than what I anticipated because when I saw this flower, honey, jasmine mix, I wasn't too excited. But... 
I was told it's pretty good, and it is. So I, we we read a beer between one and five. I'd rate this at least a four. I would buy at least another one or two of these and store these. With the ABVs being nine point six, you can store this for a little while, three, four, five, six months probably, um, and it'd be really you know still um, good uh, as far as you know. Um, kind of mellow out a little bit. I like it. Um, it's better than what I anticipate. I'm pleasantly surprised. Here again, I'm a Stone Brewing Company fan. I'm an advocate. I think these beers are worth the money. It's $9 for this. It's definitely worth the money. It definitely would try it if you can find it at this point. Um, that's what you think. If you try it, please please leave comments on your channel or our website. You can follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. And as always, we appreciate you watching. And most importantly, we upload often and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.